good, y'all. Back with some more game for y'all, man. High octane game. And honestly, when I, a lot of times when I speak this game, it actually can be used by women too, in the sense of maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I shouldn't be this type of way. So smart women will take the game and utilize it to not be that type of woman and understand that they might actually play the wrong guy. You know what I mean? The right guy actually. Play the right guy. You know what I mean? Bottom line, she know that you want to sleep with her, though. That's why I exercise so much. Flip the game on their ass. Flip it. I'm going to make you wait for sex. And I know for some men that might seem like some dumb ass shit, but it ain't, though. It actually works better in your favor. Flip the whole script on her ass. If you take a girl out on a date, don't even. All right, I, I got to go. Yeah, drop her ass just like that. Not like in the sense of like you playing her, but yeah, I gotta go. Make her feel some type of way. Flip the whole fucking script on their ass. I'm telling y'all, man, you gotta do this because um, you can't feel entitled. Just like you say women shouldn't feel entitled. As a man, you can't feel entitled. Don't feel entitled. I suggest you not feel entitled to anything a woman could offer you. Anything. Anything, dog. For one, you won't be disappointed when you don't get something because you're not entitled. You're not expecting it. You know what I mean? For two, you should not be dealing with someone or doing things for someone if you have expectations in return. You should do it because you want to do it. And in the end, if you do things for her and she gives you nothing in return, she's got to live with that, that, that feeling. You don't. You're only going to feel salty if you had expectations. Don't have expectations for these women at all. In any aspect of loving you, not cheap knowing you, none of that. Don't have no expectations for them, man, at all. Because they think that you have expectations. They think that you are you feel entitled to this or that. And they like to play the game with you and, and dangle this and dangle that. See, that's how they gain power over you. But if you have no expectations, she can't do that. She, she has no power over you at all because you just don't care. It's not necessarily you don't care about the person. But you just don't care what she, if she gives you this or that. It's more important. It's important for your well-being. But and another thing, the reason why this is important is because they're they're going to try to get attention from you. They're going to try to get money from you. They're going to try to get time from you. They're going to try to get any and everything from you without giving you anything in return possible, right? Especially sex, right? Because they know that's the number one thing you want. So that's the number one thing they're going to try to keep back and try to get what they want from you. Are you entitled to a sex from a woman? No. But guess what? Here's the kicker. A woman that actually want to deal with you you don't have to even feel entitled to it because she's already going to want to do it, give it to you. You know what I mean? She's already going to want to cook for you. She's already going to want to have sex with you. She's already going to want to show you attention, all these things. You see how when you deal with a woman that actually wants you, you know, you don't have to um, basically ask for shit. It's already there. She's already wanting to do it. That's the difference. Not only that, 
She might not, she might not cook for you. She might not have sex with you. She might not show you attention, but she's showing somebody else attention. So this is the importance of it. Because if you don't understand, then you're gonna be out here giving them free attention, giving them free money, giving them all these things. And she's not giving you nothing in return, but she's giving it to another guy. That's the issue. See, I don't have, I don't, I, I don't have a issue of a woman not sleeping with a guy or, or you know what I mean, um, owing a guy something because she took him on a date or something. My issue is you went out with that guy, but then you're sleeping with somebody else. That's the issue. So if you're a man watching, don't feel entitled to nothing a woman could offer you. Nothing. Because she can't have power over you if you don't do that. If you feel entitled to nothing she has, there's no power. You would hope. But and, and, and also remember, remember, do not forget. If you was the guy she really wanted, she would want to give you attention. She would want to give you sex. She would want to give you things, man. So you can only come to one conclusion. So fuck feeling entitled to somebody that doesn't want you. Okay, you don't want me. Goodbye. Because if you did, if you wanted me, you would do these things. You wouldn't be trying to play these games and, and I'm going to make him not do this and that after the date. But she done it with another guy, though, right? Again, don't feel entitled. It's the, point, it's the principle, though, that she done it with another guy. Matter of fact, a guy that she really liked probably ain't even got to take her on a date yet to sleep with her. Ain't that some shit? But you are. You see what I mean, man? Y'all jumping through hoops for women that don't really like you because a woman who really like you is not going to make you jump through fucking hoops. I don't give a fuck what she looks like or how much she claims she has standards and all that bullshit. It's not true, man. If she likes you, all that shit goes out the fucking window. The more she likes you, the less rules she makes. The less she likes you, the more rules she's going to make. So if you find yourself got to jump through a fucking obstacle course, then don't deal with it. I ain't trying to hear that, oh, this, I'm not easy like the rest of the woman. And any woman's easy to a guy she really likes because she's going to make it easy for that guy because she likes that guy. When I say easy, I ain't necessarily talking about sex. I'm talking about in general. She's going to make it easy for that guy to like her, whether it's sex or whatever. So stop falling for the bullshit, man. A lot of them are just using y'all, man. They're using you for your attention, your energy, your time, your resources. They're using you, man. That's why you're confused. You're like, well, she's still around. She's still tossing me. She still does this. She still does that. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like you got to pull teeth to get it. it. Doesn't seem like a hot and cold situation. If it does, I'm telling you why it is. And y'all can say that she's playing hard to get. It's too hard for a woman to play hard to get with a guy she likes. The more she likes you, the harder it is for her to play hard to get. I'm telling you, you're going to waste time thinking, oh, well, maybe, just maybe she will like me one day or this or that. Bullshit, man. I'm here to tell you right now, bullshit. Even if you convince that girl to deal with you, she's really, you're, she's still not going to be satisfied because you was never her number one. If you was, you wouldn't have went through the obstacle course, motherfucker. But y'all ego won't allow y'all to accept when a woman don't really like you more than another guy. I don't give a fuck. Let me know. See, a lot of these women uh, don't want to hurt your feelings too. So they let you down easy. Fuck that let me down easy shit. I know I'm the best man. You ain't got to let me down easy. Just don't talk to me no more. Period. I don't give a fuck. Because I know I'm the best. And I know I, I plan on doing more for you than me. So it's your loss. It's not mine. Either way, even if you didn't want me, it's still your loss. Because I never was requiring for you to do more for me than I could do for you. So therefore, it's your loss. See, when you get that confidence in and you get you get yourself up self-improving and shit like that, all that, all that bullshit that they try to pull on motherfuckers, it don't work no more. And it's not that I feel like you're entitled to anything from a woman. It's the fact that I know that she will do that for somebody she likes. You see? 
So if you're a guy that's trying to like her and she's not doing those things, you're not the guy she likes. And you must realize that and you must leave her alone because she will do the things you want for the guy that she does like. But then at the same time, even if that guy that she likes isn't doing the things you're doing. So here you are doing all these magic tricks, dog. All these magic tricks, man. And she just, and she still likes him that ain't doing these magic tricks. She's, well, you're doing all these magic tricks and she's doing all these magic tricks for him that she, you want her to do for you. Can't do that, man. Y'all got to get about that ego, man. Fuck that shit, man. It's not worth it. And, and who cares if women don't like you no more because you, you have balls to not deal with bullshit or whatever. They never really liked you then. That's another thing that I must touch on. You know, um, if I make a video like this and a woman feels like, oh, I don't like him no more, she would never really like me anyway. Because if she was really real and she wasn't on games and no bullshit, she wouldn't run away. See, a lot of them run away when they realize, oh shit, I can't manipulate this guy. You know what I mean? I can't get him to take me on all these dates and use me for attention and all that. And they will literally be mad at you. Have you ever seen a woman who you figured out, you know what? this girl probably using me for attention and then you take away your attention that girl's mad at you you know why she's mad because it's not because she likes you she's mad because you took the attention away just like a man who is using a woman for sex and that woman uh leaves him alone now he mad or she likes somebody else now now he mad he ain't mad because he care about the girl he mad because she took the benefit away from him and gave it to somebody else and that's exactly what they do when it comes to attention and all these things, man. I'm not here to tell y'all to do women who are doing this dirty. You know what I mean? That would be a hypocrite. But I'm tell I tell y'all game so they can't run game on you. And any woman who is real would respect these videos. No woman who is real would be like, man, shame on him. He he's he's saying this or that and he's so bad of a person. Nah, they would look at it and realize all I'm doing is giving women and men game so the game can't be ran on them. I never in any video told people to run game on a motherfucker, manipulation, none of that. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to expose the ones who do that. Think about it. A woman who really don't like you don't deserve to be on no damn date with you. A woman who does, does. A woman who likes you deserves to be on that date. But we all know that a lot of people, that goes out the window um, sometimes because people don't care about a lot of times if someone likes them, it's all about how much they like the person. And that's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. And that's why I'm telling y'all about that ego, whether you're a woman or a man. That ego, man. You gotta put that ego in check. Okay, they don't seem, they like me as much as I like them. Sometimes you could be wrong, they could like you, but they were, they think the same thing about you. You know, it's, it's and again, that ego. That's where you gotta put that ego down and say, you know what, I don't know if she really liked me like that, but I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out. Instead of playing a little game and, and acting like I don't really like her like that, nah, because then two people could like each other and end up losing each other because they both thought they didn't like each other. You know? That's why you don't do that. I tell y'all, man, you really want to know if a woman like you? Just just ask her. Uh, I wouldn't even ask her out because she really don't deserve it yet. But that's the only way you really can get to uh, know if they really like you for real, for real. But then again, you got the one still going out for I wouldn't ask her out right away. I'll just flat out tell her, I think I'm interested in you. See how she starts reacting. See how her energy is. See how she reciprocates. Because we all know once they think they got you or some shit like that, or they think they can get your attention without giving it and all this, you'll see the real her. You'll know if she really like you or not. You know, but make no mistake about it. They out here using men for attention and everything, man. And then they go back to some other guy they really want. How, how would that make y'all feel, man? You decide, dude. 
You know how they're side women? You a side dude. And I ain't talking about the side dude that's getting sex from the woman, that's getting a benefit out of it. I'm talking about the side dude that's getting used for attention and she goes home and sucks and fucks another guy. That side dude. That's exactly what you are when, you do, when you're doing that, man. But, you know, um, most men are never going to get it, and, and that's fine. As long as uh, you get it, you watching this video, as long as you get it, that's all that matters, man. Because you got to protect yourself, man. You can't waste time, and, and you know, you could literally destroy your outlook on, on love and women just by dealing with the wrong one. One time, all it takes. And it's a fucked up situation, man. But their goal is to try to get everything they can without giving up sex, man. And this is why sometimes in marriages, women dangle sex over a man's head. And once again, for all the women who say, a man's not entitled to my body and this and that. But if you really liked him like that, you wouldn't even be thinking that way. See, that's the key, man. It's not about feeling entitled to anything a woman can offer you. It's the fact that you know deep down inside she's gonna she'll offer it to another guy. If she was if she wanted to offer it to you, she would. That's the whole point. That think about it this way. A woman happened to beg a man to um Support her and, and be be the provider and shit. A, a man that really like that woman is going to do that by default. Or a woman who may be sleeping with one guy, right? And that's it. But he's a provider and everything to the other woman. saying is don't let them use you man that's all i'm saying man you know uh your best bet is not to want to fuck a woman even though you want to mentally don't think that way and, and you're probably gonna fuck her too that's one that's number one and, and two your energy is gonna be different and everything she probably gonna be the one one make her be the one to want to fuck you y'all gotta flip the whole script on these motherfuckers man Y'all act like y'all sex ain't important. Or you y'all sex ain't good. Fuck that. Well maybe it ain't, I don't know. Who knows? But I know this. When it comes to me, I'm a prize too. My sex is a prize too, right? So I'm gonna flip the script on your ass. Uh the date's over. Alright, good night. Uh, I gotta go. Yeah, you thought I was gonna try to ask you in the room or uh, to my house, huh? Nope. Gotta go. Flip the script on her ass, man. That's how you do that shit. Let her know that her pussy has no power. Pussy don't have power. It's, it's men who are powerless. It's the problem. Pussy ain't got no fucking power. It's all up here, man. It's all up here. You supposed to be the one power having power over the pussy, not the pussy having power over you. And, and even if women disagree with this video, they really respond and respect to it more. They respect to the more to the masculine energy more. So let them feel how they feel. I don't care. Once again, once again, it's it, I don't care. It, it, if they really fucked with me, then they would have no problem with this video. Because I didn't say nothing about any man doing anything wrong to no woman. I didn't say deceive a woman. None of that. I said don't be deceived by them. I didn't say do women wrong. I've never said that. So any woman who has a problem with that, I don't give a fuck. Because I didn't do anything wrong. If I was making videos about deceiving women and shit, sure. You could say whatever you, I, I get it. I get why you would come at me a certain way. But because I'm exposing the bullshit that women or men do, and you have a problem with that, you know, that's something you got to check within yourself. All right, y'all, I'm done with that shit, man, for now anyway, because that's a good topic, man. Yeah, she going to try to do um, as least possible to not give you sex, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I feel like this. Since since women feel like that, you as a man could feel that way too. 
I don't have to take you on a, a five hundred dollar date yet. We ain't, we ain't on that level yet. Oh, we ain't sleep. Oh, you're not giving. Okay, that's fine. Well, I ain't, I ain't got to do all this and that yet. You see what I mean? You don't. But but then again, if you're dealing with a man who's really trying to fuck with a woman, he doesn't he doesn't think that way. He doesn't think, oh, I'm not gonna do this or that for her, or I, I, it, I'm gonna do this only if she gives me. They don't think like that. I'm only gonna do this if she gives me sex or whatever. A man who's really trying to fuck with you don't think that way, man. And neither does a woman who is trying to fuck with you. That's the key, man. It's not about feeling entitled. I must say that one more time before I get off here. It's not about feeling entitled to a woman's nothing, right? Even, you know how they feel entitled to, oh, I feel entitled to him take me on a date and give me free attention and this and this and this and this. Yeah, she could feel entitled all she wants to, but she doesn't deserve it because she's not giving you the same back in return. Period. I get it. A woman shouldn't uh, have to give up sex because you took her on a date. But at the same time, if a woman really fucked with you, you probably already had sex with her before y'all even went on the first date. That is just real. Because y'all probably got to get to know each other. Or y'all probably do know each other. I don't know, man. I just know nine times out of ten, the woman who's really fucking with a guy, he already smashed before they went on a date. And women can say it's not true all they want to. I don't give a fuck. I know the truth. So knowing that itself, right? Maybe I maybe I wouldn't even maybe I shouldn't say it that way, but it's still true. But I say it like this. Get to know a woman for a long time. Fuck, don't even, don't even, just get to know her, try to get to know her a little bit, but it's hard to get to know somebody over text and shit like that, but sometimes it's a good thing, because they talking to multiple motherfuckers anyway, right, so if the woman doesn't seem excited to talk to you all the time and shit, why would you even take her on a date, I just feel like, you know, it, it, it's um, double standards, man, it's like, you gotta take me on a date and do this or that, but I don't have to do shit for you, but at the same time, I don't feel like men should feel entitled to anything from a woman, right? That's why I say, only go on a date with a woman because you want to. That way, you know what I mean? Who cares if you didn't sleep with her? I went on a date with the girl because I wanted to do it. I don't give a fuck if she sleeps with me or not. I don't give a fuck if she talks to me again or not. I went on a date with the girl because I wanted to. So if she didn't take that opportunity or if she didn't like what she didn't like or whatever, who gives a flying fuck, right? Who gives a fuck? Don't feel entitled. You know what I'm saying? Now, if y'all in a relationship, that's a little different. Like, she not giving you this or she's not doing that. That's that's not good, man. But she wants you to do everything. So, in a relationship, you know, it's not cool for a woman to want you to do everything, but she ain't got to do nothing. Oh, I'm tired and I and all this. And it's not even the fact that you feel entitled still. Or it's not the fact that she won't give you sex it's the fact that she doesn't want to that's the problem like damn you don't even want to touch me right it makes you feel undesired like she don't even want to cook for me she don't want to do this or that for me men a woman who really wants you and desires you wants to do these things that's the key a woman who really wants you wants to do these things man a woman who really wants you ain't going to use you for your attention your time your money and all that and she's going to want to do things you probably, you go on a date with a woman, you know what I mean, that really has interest, interest in you, she'll probably offer to pay for her shit or at least tip or something. You going out with these women who feel all entitled and all that bullshit, just don't even fuck with her. That right there shows you she can't even tip. And it's not the fact that you, that you even want her to tip. It's the fact that she offers it. That she offers the... I add a helping hand to the situation. It's not all about her. She actually wants to put something into the date. Not just take. But, you know, people don't get this shit. You know what I mean? And they probably never will. So your best bet is don't feel entitled. And, and remember, man, before I get off here, when you're done with that date, tell her I got to go. Facts. And, and if you're so confident in who you are as a man, you already know she she had a good time. So you ain't got to worry about her uh, never hitting you up again or or going and fuck with another guy or something. You should feel like, man, I made an impression to even if she had plans to meet up with another guy, she probably won't do it type shit. You know what I mean? And even if she did, who gives a fuck? But at the end of the day, they flip this shit on their ass. 
It's not, the, the most powerful thing they got against you is sex. So act like it doesn't even matter. Start to master the art of not letting sex control you. And watch what happens. She has she don't have no power over you now. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So when you're done with that date, dog, tell her, hey, I gotta go, man. Uh it was good, you know, kicking it with you and shit. And like, yeah, I gotta go. I'm out. That's how y'all do that, man. I'm out of here, man.